What they have given Goodell now is a get-out-of-jail-free card, a button he can hit where, hey, I didn't give him the suspension. It's independent. This was negotiated. It's not on me. But if he thinks it's too light, he can see which way the wind is blowing. Oh, people think that the suspension is too light. He can hit that button and say, we're appealing it. To whom? To himself. He now takes over the process and decides whether or not to change the suspension. And so Deshaun Watson is suing, right? Goodell is going to change this, change the suspension one way or another, and Deshaun Watson is going to sue. That's where we are now. That's where we are at this moment. Yeah, for, for me, I think it's more so when you look at the NFL, you look at the history uh, in them handling things like this, I think it's – I think they're trying to save face right now, Max. I'm just going to be honest about you about it. I don't think the NFL really cares, truly cares about women um, in, in this situation when it, when it involves sexual assault or, or rape or things of, like, of that nature because we look at the history of the NFL and the way they've handled things. Now, a lot of people may say, hey, you know what? This is a, step, a stepping stone for them to change things and make things different. Well, I need to see that on a consistent basis. I don't need to just see one incident that they try to change things, but then things go back to being the same as it was previously. I need to see things change over a a, a drastic amount of time. I need to see consistency from the NFL in those regards. And until then, I'm going to believe believe what I believe, and that's the NFL is going to try to save face, uh, especially in a situation that's this egregious. So, number one, I do believe that Deshaun Watson deserved more in my opinion, than six games. I believe that. And I draw this comparison, even though they are different, but I believe that Ben Roethlisberger, back in the day, deserved more than six games. Ding. So I have a lot of questions, and I want to get into this. So Big Ben, two accusations of rape, one in 2008, accusation of raping a woman in Lake Tahoe room, uh, which was settled out of court in January 2012, Then 2010, a college student alleged that Big Ben raped her in a bathroom stall of a Georgia nightclub. That um, and 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 that was handled by Roger Goodell, which and he gave a six-game suspension, which then got taken down to four games. I want to ask Roger Goodell straight up, what gave him the insight to deem that suspension for six games? and then drop it down to four. What went into his thinking for that, considering those were rape allegations, okay? That's number one. What happens to fair process? Now, 24 accusations, right? None of them were convicted. It goes back into the fact that the personal conduct policy that they have was not collectively bargained. It wasn't bargained. So at the end of the day, he is able to make the final decision, but I'm curious, like, what has changed? What's the standard? What's the standard? What's well, the fair process? Let me, let me say, I, I think that the, the, the allegations against Ben Roethlisberger were very serious. Um, criminal charges were not brought. Yes. And there were two separate accusations, but that is that, that you could say he said, she said. When it happens twice, you go, wait a minute, she said also, right? That is, now it's not that you, oh, you automatically don't believe the accuser? No, of course not. But you also automatically don't presume guilt. In fact, there's a presumption of innocence. And particularly when there are no criminal charges brought, and we're talking about two. Of course, your antenna go up on one, and then on, on the second, you, with two, you go, wait a minute. But with the difference here to me is Deshaun Watson, it's, as again, I'll say it again. It's not he said, she said. It's he said, and she said, and she said, and she said 24 times. Mm -hmm. 24 times. Basically with the same story, though. With the same kind of stuff. So either you believe in an enormous conspiracy that all got buttoned up, right? Yeah. Or, which I find hard to believe, or you think something's going on. The suspension of six games is the same thing as saying for each accusation, and again, you could say, well, no criminal charges were brought, and 23 of them settled. That's true, but the allegations were public already, mm-hmm. right? Yep. And, and because of the nature of so many of them with similar details, it seems you have to turn your brain off to think that these women are all lying. Okay, therefore, those allegations are 
felt differently than an allegation from one or two different people when it really is more he said, she said, even if, those, even if they're more serious. So what's happened now is an independent arbiter has said each accusation is worth one quarter of football. 24, six games, divisible by exactly six, one quarter of football you have to miss for each accusation. It seems extremely light given the circumstances. Agreed. And that's why my biggest question is, what the hell is the process, Max? Like, what is the standard of the process that goes under? And the, the but process this is not Goodell making this decision. I, this I, is I, the, I, I, I understand that. I understand that. But you put a system in place, and now you're undermining the system you put in place oh. of the independent arbiter that is a woman that you put in place to make that decision. So now you're changing the standard once again. I disagree. I think this is – think about why the – first well, of all – Max, Mike, this has nothing to do with right or wrong. Like, I'm saying I actually think it's right that it should be No, no, longer, I understand what you're right? saying. I want to well, address your point. The whole point of this, when Harry, when you but, say the NFL doesn't really care about women, the NFL, there are, I, I, the NFL is comprised of people, and many of them do, I'm sure. And some of them don't as much as, uh, as you'd like. That goes for any business. The nature of a business is to make money. That's all. As I said, it's like the nature of a shark. If a shark eats something, you don't say, well, boy, that shark is immoral. It's hungry. It eats. That's what it does. A business makes money. That's what it does. Definition of a business. Understood. Okay. So- so when a business, in a public-facing way, says we care about X, Y, or Z, and it has nothing to do with their core business, that's because they have determined that it's good for their bottom line to publicly say yes, we care about X, revenue. Y, or yes. Z. Right. So understanding that, the reason this system is in place is precisely for this, Jay. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.